Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 100 of Let's FIFA 13, the big finale. And this episode will be about uh, this guy, the team of the season, Slatan Ibrahimovic. And it was a foothead user named the Hide the Clown who was uh, kind enough to let me use him for a few games. Uh, and yeah, he will kind of be the main man for the last squad of Let's FIFA 13. Now, I did have a few of the players I wanted to use in this final squad because the idea was to build a full inform skill squad, which are going to be really expensive and have some of the some of the players I've enjoyed using throughout this series. So we do have Slatan and uh, Ronaldinho, of course. We get Ben Arfa and we also have Inform Dede for the squad already. But we still miss seven players uh, to go out uh, before we can go out and play with the side. So the idea is basically in this episode, we'll be playing games with the two other squads. We got uh, the Messi, uh, Ronald, uh, the Messi Ibrahimovic squad and the kind of Premier League squad with Ben Arfa, Nani and Terrapt on the top. And each time I win a game, I can go out and pick up two players. Uh, for the squad I'm building here and if I lose a game I can only pick up one player so once we got all the players for the squad we then go out and play five games with the kind of full inform skill squad and we see if we can get some cool goals so uh, into the first game here and is to wrap on the ball, making his way into the box, and we end up uh, backing off and going with the elastic coach up and picking up a penalty. Number 124, and Nani, he will convert it to, to make it 1-0. We continue on into the second half. He had a shot from to wrap. It goes over the bar, and towards the end of the game, it's Nani going on a little bit of a skill run here. With some of the basic skill moves, he goes past the defenders, and he puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-0. And that is pretty much how the game ends. My opponent decides to raise quit in the end and uh, yeah we can go out and pick up two players uh, for our inform skill squad and as a keeper we do get the team of the season Buffon and uh, as a center back we get uh, Killini the inform version to uh, to make kind of the center back duo alongside with a Dede and then we head on into another game we come against a 3-5-2 squad there and it was going to be a really tough game had a very difficult time breaking him down we get a chance here cross it in we get the goal but it is offside and it does not count and in the 39th minute we try to shot from distance but it is saved and instead it is my opponent to get the goal off a corner just before half time and as I said very difficult to break him down but in the 83rd minute it is Slatan to get me the goal get me back in the game but then 88th minute I give up a goal in the other end, really frustrating, and I end up losing the game, I couldn't get back into the game, he had 3 shots, he scored on 2 of them, oh well, he had 3 shots on target, and I only had 6 shots on target, so not many chances created in the game, so we could only go out and pick up one player, and that was going to be Inform and Conco, linking up with Kalini and Ben Arfa in the side, and then we head on into another game, come up against a really awesome squad there with a few skillers including Ibrahimovic as well and uh, it is me creating the first uh, proper nice chance here for myself in the 18th minute it is saved however and we go into the second half before I get another nice chance we try to shot from distance and uh, from a corner we will get a goal in the 70th minute and two minutes later we get another goal from a corner so not the most skillful goals but it gives us a comfortable lead within a few minutes and uh, we create a one final chance here with Terab going past several defenders but this shot is blocked and in the end we win the game at 2 to nil, but didn't really get it that and a really nice goal but nonetheless we can go out and pick up with two more players we get Felipe Luis as a left back here and the inform and not the team of the season version and then we do get a match to ED as uh, our other center make to um to play in the midfield alongside Ronaldinho and then we're ready to head on into the next game and we come up against a Premier League squad there with a, quite a few informed players but it really, didn't really matter too much it's Ibrahim which creating the first chance here we try out this shot and a nice save from his keeper and then in the 80 or uh, 45th minute I will finally get the goal because it was a half where I created a lot of chances but just couldn't get the goal before just towards the end and into the second half we create a few chances and in the 75th Third minute is Slatan to break through. He punishes the defender. And how do you miss that? I do not know. He usually converts that kind of shots. But nonetheless, uh, 
keep on creating those chances. We try to shot here, but it just wasn't our game to hit the target, and it only ends at one to nil. But nonetheless, it is a win, and we can go out and f kind of finish off our squad. We list up every player in the two other squads we got because I needed a few coins for some of the expensive players I was going to get for the for the informed squad. So yeah, we listed up all the players in our club. So we only had the players in the informed skill squad, and then we go out and pick up the man of the match. Name Neymar uh, to get a, a informed player on the left uh, left mid, which is a five star skill, and finally we get a menace as a striker to to get the chemistry out of Ibrahimovic and a bunch of four one one modifier cards uh, to get everyone on that uh, nine chemistry, and we also get a few position modifiers uh, for Neymar and Ronaldinho and. Um, and Ben Arthur, so they all play in the right positions, and we do have that a perfect chemistry. And uh, the squad, uh, as you can see, is going to be really, really expensive, and you'll see if it'll play well in the games we go into. But on goal, we have the team of the season before, 92 rated. He got insane stats on him. Then we have informed Dede, 84 heading, 80 or 85 heading, 84 defending, and 82 pace. Felipe Luis, a very very solid stats from him. Kilini, 87 defending and heading, and 81 pace. Medium medium work rates on Congo with a really good pace and a very very solid player. Right mid, we do have Ben Arthur, the informed version, quite expensive, but the five star skills. Uh, team of the season, Matuidi, all round very good stats uh, in the 80s, apart from his shooting. Then we do have, of course, Inform Rolandinho. We couldn't build an Inform skill squad without him. Left mid, Neymar, the man of the match version. Very good shooting, dribbling, and a pace on him, and the five star skills, of course. The big man himself, Ibrahimovic, the team of the season version, finally get to try him out with 83 pace and you can really feel that he is really, really fast and then he's strong as well. A deathly play and finally we had a menace on the top. So we picked up and we picked up a squad morale there and then we headed on into the first game with the squad and we come up against a 5 of the back squad here with a, a few kind of good players and it was a tough game but we get our first chance here in the 10th minute, a scoop chip and we headed to Slatan. and he is of course the first guy to get the goal for the team and then Ben Arthur going on a lofty little skill run here, going past two defenders out on the wing and he goes with the finesse shot into the far corner, lovely goal there to make it 2-0 but a few minutes later, look at that nice little ball roll past Buffon and he gets back into the game and in the 80th minute, he gets the ball and gets another goal to make it 2-2. So we go into extra time and then it's Slatan to show up here with a few skill moves. Nice little run and we hit the post. Unlucky there, but we have a menace to pick it up and make it a 3-2. And one final chance in the 119th minute. Slatan on the ball here, making his way into the box. But a nice block from his defender and the game will end at 3-2. But we get a win and Ibrahimovic did play quite well in the game, of course. And then we head on into another game in the Gold Cup. We had a contract there to Dede, and uh, yeah, into the next game we go, and we come up against the squad here, um, which is pretty much a full silver side, uh, apart from Nor uh, apart from the right back, I believe the name is Norby, might be a little bit wrong there, but uh, we get a very good start, we go past the, the keeper there to uh, to make it a 1-0, and Ibrahimovic on the ball here, a few, a few minutes later, makes his way into the box here, a nice little skill run, we try out the shot, but unlucky not to get it on target, instead it's my opponent getting through and making it 1-1 in the 26th minute, and just before halftime, we try out a shot there, but straight at the keeper and instead we go into the second half where my opponent will uh will get the lead uh, to make it 2-1 there and we keep on creating those chances here we hit the post and a few minutes later it's menace breaking through a little bit lucky but we get the goal there 2-2 it is and it was in the second half a lot of stuff what was happening look at that uh, first touch uh, from his uh, from his striker and that shot, but Buffon didn't look too good on that goal. I was a little bit disappointed in him, but nonetheless, Slatan there showing up to get another goal for the team, and we make it a 3-3, and straight from his kickoff, he goes with some stupid touches. We pick the ball up, and uh, yeah, a 1-2 there to find a completely open man. As a ball will drag back past the keeper, and we make it a 4-3. Nice little goal there, and yeah... 
I said it just before, a lot of goals in the second half. Here we break through with Menes, and we are quite lucky to actually hang on to the ball, and we get another goal, I believe. That was the third goal for Menes in the game. 5-3 it is, and Slatan here, a nice little skill run, making his way into the box. We went a little bit too far with skill moves, and the keeper got too close, and we wouldn't get the goal. And instead, it's my opponent taking a shot, getting his fourth goal of the game, and pretty much straight for my kickoff, we go down into the other end of the pitch it's been Arthur on the ball here and we end up picking up a penalty and Slatan he will step up for that and he got 99 in penalty stats and he goes with a little um little chip down the middle we make it 6-4 we win the game and yeah insane game that was with a lot of goals in the second half and uh, as you might have seen I do play the squad in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation because it is just somewhat better uh, I feel I, I used the 4-4-1-1 just to get the chemistry out of the squad and build that in form skill squad but a 4-1-2-1-2 is where I feel most comfortable playing but into the next game we go here and it was finally a game where Neymar would start to show up because in the first games I didn't really see him that much like he was kind of an invisible player but uh, we created a few chances in the first half and into the second half we try to get a goal but we will hit the post there and then in the 70th minute it's Slatan going with a slight tackle pick the ball up and Ben Arthur with a roulette past the defender and we make it 1-0 and that was pretty much all for that game and not much stuff going on but we win our third game in a row with the um, with the new informed skill squad and then we went out picked up a squad fitness uh, to get the fitness back up in into the 99 uh, and then we headed on into our fourth game and we come up against a 3-5-2 a French squad there and uh, yeah uh, we get the game started here with Neymar and he would play even better than the last game here a nice little skill run here out on the wing making his way into the box we try out the hocus pocus and quite lucky to hang on to the ball but we'll get a goal there to make it 1-0 and we continue on a few minutes later Slatan on the ball here a lovely little skill run here past the defender and then we take the shot and I actually thought for a moment it was going to like bounce into the back of the net but his defender would get in the way and clear it but Neymar on the ball once again here making his way towards the box and we try out a shot there with Slatan had hoped for a bicycle kick but nonetheless the keeper would probably have saved it 44th minute there uh, uh, Neymar once again on the ball and uh, we actually pick up a penalty there and Slatan he will step up for that again and once again he chips it down the middle uh, to get the second goal for the team and uh, thank god I got that goal because a few minutes later into the second half I will give away a penalty and he will convert it I thought he was going to go down the middle because I went down the middle but um it didn't really matter too much for the full-time stats because he wouldn't get another goal. And I win my fourth game and we'll now head on into the final game of the Les FIFA 13 series. And uh, it was going to be the Slatan show. And I felt that was a very good way to kind of end off the episode. But it is me getting a very bad start to the game. In the 11th minute, he breaks through an Aguero, getting a goal there to make it 1-0. But 38th minute, Slatan on the ball here, making his way uh, into the box. And we actually pick up a corner. And from that, we find a Slatan, and he will head it in to make it 1-1. And we continue on into the second half. Ben Arthur on the ball here, finds Slatan once again again and uh, we will go past over a defender here go past another one and we get another goal a 2-1 it is and as I said uh, in the start of this game it was the Slatan show he was just everywhere going with the skill moves here uh, going past a few defenders and drag back here and we try out the shot and it goes out for a corner unlucky there and uh, just a few minutes later, he is on the ball once again. Past the defender here, makes his way into the box. And then we go with the shot off the post. We complete the hatch with Slatan, make it 3 1. And he will actually get another goal over the top ball. And Aguero getting his second goal of the game. And that is pretty much how the game ends, how this episode ends. And as I said, I felt it was quite suiting to end it off with a hat trick by Slatan. And that is going to be all for the Let's FIFA 13 series. I hope you did enjoy the entire series. We'll continue when uh, FIFA 14 is out and I can start up on Ultimate Team. And we'll get into some trading. And we'll, of course, try to collect all 5-star skillers in that. Because there are some new 5-star skillers on 14. And that is pretty much all for the entire series. Hope you enjoyed it. And look forward to FIFA 14 content the upcoming days. And that's all. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later.